Over the last couple of months, we placed about 40 water and food caches along the uh, approximately 800 mile route. We literally drove thousands of miles through some of the most remote parts of Oregon. Figuring out all the cache locations was in itself a very difficult task and accessing all of them was even more challenging. The Oregon Outback is clearly a very wild place. I hope I'm not gonna end up here if I don't find all the water caches. Preparing the caches took weeks and we needed to be very meticulous about things. A missing set of batteries or a missing sunscreen could easily get me in some serious trouble. Let's see what's actually in one of these cash bins. Uh, first of all, there's a sturdy bin, three and a half gallon, very solid and no rodent is gonna go through that. Most of the bins are in the ground uh, that will keep them cool as well. And we've got some rice waffles. That's mainly gonna be for the peanut butter, mixed fruit, some snacks, applesauce, a bottle of root beer, more mixed fruit, snacks, protein bars, dried fruit, a medical kit with uh, tape and spare batteries, contact lenses, toilet paper, and all the possible things that one might need for the foot care, more snacks, dried bananas, uh, typically a, a gallon of water, sometimes more, uh, cliff organic food, uh, trail butter, that's going to be uh, my main calorie source for dinner and breakfast, Pringles, a breakfast pouch, that's oatmeal, uh, some tuna salad for dinner, and a set of maps for the next section. Tailwind is going to be my main calorie source for the running part. I've got some snacks as well uh, for during the day. Uh, overall I'm uh, roughly counting on 5,000 calories uh, per day uh, total for running and dinner and breakfast. <laughs> Some of these cache locations were incredibly hard and time-consuming to access. But we also got to see some of the most remote and beautiful regions of Eastern Oregon. Here we drove up to the Pueblo Mountains to drop some water. Uh, that's a uh, mountain range just south of fields. We actually had to hike in for the last two miles to drop that water. One of the most surreal and unique experiences was to drive across Alvord Lake, a large dry lake just east of the Steens Mountains. 
the Owyhee Canyon lands offer another amazing and unique landscape in the Oregon Outback. Driving into Leslie Gulch is pretty amazing. Unfortunately, a large part got burned in a recent wildfire. 